Andrew Stuart Tannenbaum, sometimes referred to by the handle Ast, is an American Dutch physicist and professor emeritus of computer science at the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam in Netherlands. He is best known as the author of Minix, a free Unix like operating system for teaching purposes, and for his computer science textbooks, regarded as standard texts in the field. He regards his teaching job as his most important work. Since 2004, he has operated Electoral Vote. Com, a website dedicated to analysis of polling data in federal elections in the United States. Tannenbaum was born in New York City and grew up in suburban White Plains, New York. He is Jewish. His paternal grandfather was born in Korostkiv in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He received BS degree in physics from MIT in 1965 and Ph. D degree in astrophysics from University of California, Berkeley in 1971. Tannenbaum also served as a lobbyist for the Sierra Club. He moved to Netherlands to live with his wife, who is Dutch, but he retains his United States citizenship. He teaches courses about computer organization and operating systems and supervises the work of Ph. D. Candidates at VU University Amsterdam. On July 9, 2014, he announced his retirement. Tannenbaum is well recognized for his textbooks on computer science. They include, his book, Operating Systems, Design and Implementation and Minix were Linus Torvalds' inspiration for the Linux kernel. In his autobiography Just for Fun, Torvalds describes it as the book that launched me to new heights. His books have been translated into many languages including Arabic, Basque, Bulgarian, Chinese, Dutch, French, German, Greek, Hebrew, Hungarian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Macedonian, Mexican Spanish, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Serbian, and Spanish. They have appeared in over 175 editions and are used at universities around the world. Tannenbaum has had a number of Ph. D students who themselves have gone on to become widely known computer science researchers. These include, in the early 1990s, the Dutch government began setting up a number of thematically oriented research schools that span multiple universities. These schools were intended to bring professors and Ph. D students from different Dutch universities together to help them cooperate and enhance their research. Tannenbaum was one of the co-founders and first dean of the Advanced School for Computing and Imaging. This school initially consisted of nearly 200 faculty members and Ph. D students from the Vrije Universiteit, University of Amsterdam, Delft University of Technology, and Leiden University. They were especially working on problems in advanced computer systems such as parallel computing and image analysis and processing. Tannenbaum remained dean for 12 years, until 2005, when he was awarded an academy professorship by the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, at which time he became a full-time research professor. ASK has since grown to include researchers from nearly a dozen universities in the Netherlands, Belgium, and France. ASK offers Ph. D-level courses, has an annual conference, and runs various workshops every year. The Amsterdam Compiler Kit is a toolkit for producing portable compilers. It was started sometime before 1981 and Andrew Tannenbaum was the architect from the start until version 5. 5. In 1987, Tannenbaum wrote a clone of Unix, called Minix, for the IBM PC. It was targeted at students and others who wanted to learn how an operating system worked. Consequently, he wrote a book that listed the source code in an appendix and described it in detail in the text. The source code itself was available on a set of floppy disks. Within three months, a Usenet newsgroup, Comp. Us. Minix, had sprung up with over 40,000 subscribers discussing and improving the system. One of these subscribers was a Finnish student named Linus Torvalds, who began adding new features to Minix and tailoring it to his own needs. On October 5, 1991, Torvalds announced his own kernel, called Linux, which originally used the Minix file system but is not based on Minix code. Although Minix and Linux have diverged, Minix continues to be developed, now as a production system as well as an educational one. The focus is on building a highly modular, reliable, and secure operating system. The system is based on a microkernel, with only 5,000 lines of code running in kernel mode. The rest of the operating system runs as a number of independent processes in user mode, including processes for the file system, process manager, and each device driver. The system continuously monitors each of these processes, and when a failure is detected is often capable of automatically replacing the failed process without a reboot, without disturbing running programs, and without the user even noticing. 
Minix 3, as the current version is called, is available under the BSD license for free. Tannenbaum has also been involved in numerous other research projects in the areas of operating systems, distributed systems, and ubiquitous computing, often as supervisor of Ph. D. students or a postdoctoral researcher. These projects include, in 2004, Tannenbaum created Electoral Vote. Com, a website analyzing opinion polls for the 2004 U.S. presidential election, using them to project the outcome in the Electoral College. He stated that he created the site as an American who knows firsthand what the world thinks of America and it is not a pretty picture at the moment. I want people to think of America as the land of freedom and democracy. Not the land of arrogance and blind revenge. I want to be proud of America again. The site provided a color-coded map, updated each day with projections for each state's electoral votes. Through most of the campaign period Tannenbaum kept his identity secret, referring to himself as the vote master and acknowledging only that he personally preferred John Kerry. Mentioning that he supported the Democrats, he revealed his identity on November 1, 2004, the day before the election, and also stating his reasons and qualifications for running the website. Through the site he also covered the 2006 midterm elections, correctly predicting the winner of all 33 Senate races that year. For the 2008 elections, he got every state right except for Indiana, which he said McCain would win by 2% and Missouri, which he said was too close to call. He correctly predicted all the winners in the Senate except for Minnesota, where he predicted a 1% win by Norm Coleman over Al Franken. After seven months of legal battling and recounts, Franken won by 312 votes. In 2010, he correctly projected 35 out of 37 Senate races in the midterm elections on the website. The exceptions were Colorado and Nevada. Electoral vote. Com incorrectly predicted Hillary Clinton would win the 2016 United States presidential election. The website incorrectly predicted Clinton would win Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Florida. Electoral vote. Com did not predict a winner for Nevada, which Clinton would win. The website predicted the winners of the remaining 44 states and the District of Columbia correctly. The Tannenbaum-Torvalds debate was a famous debate between Tannenbaum and Linus Torvalds regarding kernel design on Usenet in 1992. Tannenbaum and Turgu Muresh Tannenbaum is fourth from left Tannenbaum has been keynote speaker at numerous conferences, most recently. Thanks for watching.